Welcome to the Chasha Stock Show. Today we're gonna be breaking down the character of Mel from Blades of Light and Shadow. So if you know Blades of Light and Shadow, it's really been a very successful book of this year and it's definitely getting a spin-off. It's the second book. Its sequel is going to be released next year at some point. We don't know as to when it's gonna release, but we're surely really intrigued by the character Mal. So, you know Mal Volari. He's the character from Blades of Light and Shadow series. So as we know him, he's a thief and one of our love interests. Like he was a thief once and also he, as we first, you know, saw him in the first chapter, he was an explorer and basically he was collecting artifacts. And in the first chapter, he definitely, we wanted to be with him, to go with him in his uh, hunt for artifacts, but he definitely told our main character that we are just um, not, you know, cut out for that. But later, due to circumstances, we end up in that same place where he was collecting artifacts and he was in danger. And Loki, we saved them also. And then we, you know, bond together, sort of. He didn't want to be part of our group because our main reason was to, you know, retrieve our brother Kate. To get our brother Kate back. So he was like, what would I help you, you know, what I'm getting out of this. But we, you know, sort of convince him that he's getting a lot of things out of it. You know, what he does, that is, he's basically here for the money, some artifact that he can sell it. But so that was the start. That's why he was primarily with us because as he showed that he wanted the artifacts, the money, he didn't care about defeating the Dark Lord or getting our kid, our brother Kate back. But deep down, some point, and throughout the chapters, you see, like, at the end chapter, well, money and stuff. That was probably, he joked at some point, like, we're going to get, uh, uh, make a lot of money. But, you know, his primary motive became more and more throughout the chapters to, you know, defeat the Dark Lord and to retrieve our brother Kate back and to help his friends and to die for his friends, for our crew, including Tyrell with him. He had a, he has a really good relationship, like always making fun of him and joking with him, even Nia for our main character, for Imtura. So, you know, so that was a great development of, you know, Mal's character and Mal's character is really awesome character. So now to just break down his personality. Mel is prideful and cares about his reputation as a treasure hunter. He also shows signs of being greedy and self-serving such as only agreeing to help stop the shadow court because Nia offered to pay him as I said to you, uh, as I told you. But, you know, but that was like just the start. That's how he was at the end, at the beginning, at the beginning. But at the end, he was a completely different person. So that's a great development again of this character. Now, in chapter 15, after Tyrell confesses he's afraid, Mal stops himself from making one of his usual jokes and instead admits to being afraid as well. So, as I told you, like, oftentimes his personality, like, a lightweight, like, hey, what? So, it's a great portrait. I can't remember on top of my head, like, which, like, it's a very, you know, popular, you know, typo that Mal played, you know, like, we see in Mal, uh, you know, a lot of movies, usually start this kind of typo so his character is really enjoyable and when Tyrell asks if the cocky doggy who always meets danger with a smile can really be afraid Mel answers that the reason he's always smiling is because he's always a little afraid so he discloses a little secret at the end there now if you really you know throughout the chapter at the end specifically when you go to the white tower and we visit those uh, you know you know, basically nooks and crannies where mainly thieves were. There was a, you know, thief who stole something from Nia. So when we go there, we really find out, like, about Mal's background and why he is who he is and why he does what he does and why he's, we say greedy, greedy, but what what is the main reason? So we really find out about Mal's background. Mal was born and raised in the nooks and crannies, the forgotten slums of White Tower. He doesn't remember much about his mother except that she worked too hard and was too tired and too thin. She told him the most amazing stories though. When she passed away, he and his younger sister were shuffled from orphanage to orphanage. He joined the Thieves Guild when he was six and became a White Tower Reaper. Once he found out where the Thief Master had stashed all the goods, swiped half of himself and was halfway out of the city before he was caught. 
He swore that once he clawed his way out of there, he would never be broke, desperate or downtrodden again. At 20, he left the guild to become an adventurer. And then rest is the history. So that Mel's character development, like how he was and how he helps us, that's really true. And that's really different. Like at White Tower, that, that's sort of the irony or that's sort of the star contrast. Like at there, in a temple, there was Nia. Like living a completely different life, completely different set of life, completely different views. And there was Mal who was living in a different corner of that place and he had different, completely different views, completely different views he had also and completely different life experience. But they come together and sort of at the end point, they end at some sort of same stage we see. So that's really star contrast. Now to say some moments we see like, uh, you know, Mal to our character at one point says, you're a lot of trouble, kid, but you're my kind of trouble. So he's one of, you know, our character's love interests, as I'm saying. So in chapter 13, when our party makes it to White Tower, he makes us to, he takes us to the nooks and crannies where he grew up, as I told you. He introduces you to, uh, you know, his late mother, telling uh, her mother, his mother, that you are a fighter just like her and always standing up for what's right. So, definitely. And we also meet Mal's sister. He checks on her from time to time. She still lives in White Tower and runs the bakery together with her wife. So, that's just awesome there. And Thrip, Thrip and Mal, their relationship, Thrip, you know, it's just, uh, you know, Mal and Thrip often banter with each other while Mal calls Thrip Mangy. Thrip calls Mal out when the latter tells his tall tale. So, and we also see, like, how... Mel also like, remember one of the ship incidents so we're going somewhere in a ship so Mel was telling some you know story of his uh, bravery of his really night like bravery and something and we were saying like oh no we don't buy it it's not true so he said like oh you're buying your drinks uh, if on your own man you're on your own for drinks man I'm not buying you any drinks you're buying your own drinks from now on and if you side with him then it's a different circumstance but just not gonna have any effect but that just goes on to show like how Mel's character is like lightweight but brave you know he has a past he doesn't forget his past he just learns from the past and at the end he puts everything together he moves forward he can die for our friends though he s would say like oh man i'm not gonna die for you title or i'm not gonna die for a main character kid you're, gonna, you're just on your own i don't care about you but he says you know it's it's about his like w words he says like he doesn't care about us he doesn't care about our crew he doesn't care about the people but deep down he does care about people you know when at the white tower the prisoners were kept and they were about to be killed as um, you know purification process uh, you know so he posted he knew like those people are not common sinner they were represented by the priest of the temple like uh, white tower like they were common prisoner but they were not common prisoner they were people you know they didn't do anything and if they did anything that's just not just in mean, a terrible scene they're just you know because of the circumstances and mal understood that really well so we see mal's character over and over and I didn't really get to put it together right really well, but I just, you know, touched the pieces. And Mal's character, like, I in, in a previous video, I said, like, Nia's character is a really great character and a really successful character of Bola's Blades of Light and Shadow. But Mal's character has been one of the, you know, great success, if you see, like, his development and how he... And a lot of people fell in love with Mal for the exact same reason. So, I really liked Mal's character, his development, and how the star contrast is, like, represented in Mal and Nia's character. Also, like, Mal's character like really people would like mel for any reason because he is a very likable character so let me know guys how you think about this story and uh, mel's character let me know if i missed any point and who did you date mel nia tyril imtura and how you like mel's character and what was the best moment for you between you and mel thank you guys for listening in bye see you in the next video